I think for those who are struggling, um, who have perhaps lost the dream, um, or as Howard Thurman would say, they basically have, their heart is, has rotted away. Their life is a dread, dreary place. Um, I, I would just encourage that pastor, that preacher, to know that the dream, the dream, and not even necessarily their dream, but the dream is not dead. It's never over um, until God says it's over. And I think the discernment process for connecting with learning what is God's dream has to do with not just an individual process, but I think that one's community. Um, yeah, I, I can remember, even as an individual, people saying things early on in my life that I ran away from. I didn't want to have a part of that. And then ultimately, you know, came around and to see it now in a retrospective way, not in the moment that, you know what, you could see God's dream, God's will playing out. Um, but that involves much more than just, you know, that person or pastor, but their community, their confidants, their family, are you allowing others to sort of invest in your life, speak into your life? These other voices that love you and care for you, I think is a part of the discernment process, along with obviously prayer and, you know, scripture, that just putting the community's voice as a part of that circumstances, I think all of that is a part of discerning what God's dream may be. But the dream is not dead. You know, and God's dream is never dead. God's dream for the world. Uh, it lives on, and I think it's ultimately we have the cosmic redemption of all of creation. Um, and we are part of that, of God's dream for us.